Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So I'm really excited to bring this video to you. Today we are going to be trying out the new Makeup Forever uh, HD Skin Palette. So let's just, let me get all the details. So I was really excited about this palette. What it is, is a full face uh, cream palette. The products in this palette are all the Makeup Forever HD Cream Formula. So like that stick foundation. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I wanted to try it on camera, but I was really excited to see it. I'm not a big cream, you know, product person. I've This summer, I think I've used the most cream products I've ever used. But I do like Makeup Forever. I do like Makeup Forever's formula, and I just wanted to try this. Also, I was very intrigued when I saw... Um, uh, Emily Noel 83 reviewed this and I also noticed when I was searching for reviews I didn't see any on the deeper one I didn't see any uh, videos on the uh, on brown skin so I was like there's a gap there so in here are 12 shades and we're gonna open it up and, and play together in here are 12 shades of product or 12 yeah 12 pans of cream product um, this retails for $85. I know that's high for a palette, but it's also a full face palette. And I purchased mine from actually Friends Beauty because I have a pro discount there. So it was like, I think I paid like $51 for it. Um, but again, it's bigger forever and you're getting, you're getting 12 products and yeah, $85. It comes in two, uh, skin tone ranges, Harmony 1 and Harmony 2. This is Harmony 2. Harmony 1 again I'm going to open it up Harmony 1 is for uh, light to medium and then Harmony 2 is for tan to deep so this is what it looks like I'm going to be honest I thought it was bigger than this I have giant hands everyone maybe every woman that I re I watched a review for have super tiny hands which is could be very well the case but anyway you have 12 items in here 12 pans of cream product in here let's go through them so these um and I'll put the picture really quickly on the screen of what they explain, how they explain what these are. Okay, and I'll just tell you here. Um, so, the top two here, these are correctors. Okay, so we have a yellow and a peach. These two are correctors. Okay, and then we have um, three foundations. So, not this side, but this side. One, two, and three are your foundations here. They're creams. I feel like you can use whatever you want, but that's what they're labeled as. And then these two over here are labeled as your concealers. Okay, so you have two concealers and you have two correctors, and then you have one, two, three foundations. Okay, and then uh, these two here are labeled as your contours, which realistically I feel like you can mix again, whatever you want. These two are your contours, and then these two here. Look. these two are your blushes and then this is a highlight the only one that's giving a different finish is the highlight everything else is giving a natural or a matte finish if you will okay this has some heft to it, it has some weight to it um you can open this up and lay flat on your table and we're gonna go ahead and play i'm gonna swatch everything on my face and then we're gonna put the face together so um yeah i am not a big full face cream person again remember when it was really especially on youtube when it was really really popular to do like the whole put all your cream products on and then blend everything out um really beautifully i think that's kind of the idea here too but I'm going to apply these things like I apply my face products on the on the reg, okay? And we'll work it out, set, and we'll work it out. So let's go ahead and swatch everything. So I'm going to first swatch the two correctors. Um, this is the yellow, and then this is the uh, orangey one, peach. I'm definitely going to use this. This is really orange, um, but I need corrector, so we're going to use it. Okay, and then we have the two concealer shades which are definitely bright enough for me. I'll probably use this one because it's yellower versus this one that's a little bit pinker. Okay. Those are the concealers. Now here are the three. I'm going to do the three foundation shades, which you can mix. Why do I put them on my chin? I don't know. This is just not screaming tan to deep these are the foundations although this one i know my lights brighten everything out um but this one looks like a decent match actually uh it does 
my lights wash everything out but that one looks pretty good okay and then let's go to the contour shades those are the two contour shades um this one has a little red in it more like a bronzer okay probably use that one um and let's go to the blushes everything is really creamy but not creamy as in oily just nice feeling here are the two are my lights too much maybe they're too much the blushes are there <laughs> I swear they're there let's show you on my fingers okay neither one is too light or too ashy and then let's swatch the highlight which is a champagne go ooh, ooh. alright I'm gonna put that on top so I'm gonna be honest this is what I'm going to do I'm gonna do my makeup like I normally do in the different order uh, in the orders that I use I've seen people put it all on their face and blend it out I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like I would do it like I would do it okay um, so I'm gonna use this corrector uh, this foundation this concealer uh, this contour I don't know which blush yet and the highlight now I'll be honest with color products like my blush and my highlight when I use cream products I like to top them with powder um, and I still might do that today because I know the whole thing is like this is you taking go but like I'm doing a look and I want to use this look I want to I want to do it how I do it okay I'm gonna be honest with you I'm gonna do everything and not add any extra to it but if I feel like it ain't giving what it need to give then I will see how I can make it work but for $85 hmm. all right so we wiped that off and let's go ahead and put on a primer um, because I am actually rocking this look I'm gonna go with I'm a double prime today I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless and the urban decay all-nighter so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on yeah I saw I saw um, videos talking about this not too many talking about oh like I said I got mine from friends beauty it's not at Sephora so I did not see it at the time of filming I did not see it on Sephora's website um because yeah I looked there first but I did see it it's on Makeup Forever's website and then like I said friends beauty I'm sure it's on other retailers but those were where I checked I don't know if it's coming to Sephora but yeah also I bought this glass I just got this glass I have so many glasses this matches my Halloween decor so I had to get it it was five dollars at Burlington there's margarita in there okay all right so we have our our primers are on so let's go in with the color corrector I'm gonna use my fingers where I can and then blend out with brushes or sponges okay so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this super bright uh, corrector it's really orange but we're gonna apply that and then I'm gonna take I'm not gonna set it I'm gonna take um this so uh Zorea I got it from Amazon this kind of fluffy brush and pat that in the consistency it's it's giving a little set it's not super like greasy it's not almost it's not greasy at all actually I don't want to say super greasy it's not greasy at all and it's also not blending away like you see that corrector there okay I'm not going to set it with a powder. Sometimes I set my corrector with a powder, but actually my new corrector that I've really been loving, um, the NARS, I don't set that one. I just keep going on and on and on, okay? So, all right. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to go ahead and take the foundation. The foundation shade I'm going to use is the third one up here. I'm going to go ahead into that one, and I'm going to apply that. 
and I did not want a sponge but I think I want to use a brush anyway I'm gonna take my Morphe G1 brush and let's see if that works oh yeah that's that's a great match that's a wonderful match so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation now because I'm using this smaller brush it might take a little bit longer than if I was with a sponge but that's okay it's ooh, okay it's giving coverage but we already know makeup forever provides coverage now it's harder to control I think how much you're putting on because of this format like I just keep dipping my brush in and um, yeah but that's a good shade and I'm gonna top things and everything so I think we're looking good I'm gonna do one half just so you can see the difference that is pretty it's medium coverage that's what I'm getting out of this right now oh friends okay so here's my face without the foundation and here it is with it evened out smooth beautiful coverage beautiful medium coverage blended nicely okay but I'm not shocked at this make a forever quality I'm, I'm not it's not like this is a new quality we trying out we know makeup forever we ain't gonna sleep on them so it's just more of a do we like this format is this something we recommend so right now let's say every when you see palettes like this a lot of times everyone thinks of travel all right is this travel friendly so far I would say so good because my corrector and my foundation are in the palette and I don't feel I have oily skin I have I have skin is what normal now normal to oily though um I guess it would be more combination because I'm not fully normal, but I have my good days and bad days. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, travel. I don't got my foundation on. I got my corrector on. I don't feel like oh, I need more. I think I think I look good right now. I think I really do. Oh, that's lovely. it's not it's it's still a little tacky let me let it set but all right so now we're gonna go into our concealer because that's what we're doing because we like concealer I am going to need a brush all right I'm gonna go into the like I said the little more neutral one the more neutral one the other one was kind of pink uh, and I'm gonna place this oh I'm gonna place this right over the color corrector and I'm gonna I'm gonna place it down and then I'm gonna let it sit to set I saw that trick the kids you kids taught me that trick let your concealer sit for a bit before you blend it out alright and I'm gonna put I'm gonna brighten my face up and I think since we have all cream products I can go ahead and do my contour as well okay so let's do the contour I need another brush <laughs> got a lot of brushes here I'm gonna go ahead and take the deeper of the two contours okay so pretty we are doing it we are looking pretty contour shades perfect it's 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 a it's a type of tone oh, I'm a dirty up the panel how dirty I didn't got it but the contour shade is definitely what I would 
tone I would go for anyway with my cream contours, my powder contours. Wonderful. Okay. Um, do I want to wet a sponge? I'm not because I being lazy. I'm gonna blend it out with a brush. Let's see. Alright, let's blend out the concealer. Now, as we know, whatever you see me blend out with this brush, you can get an even, um, a more diffused look, an even more flawless look, if you will, if you use a damp sponge. But we're going to try to get flawless with this brush because I didn't want a sponge. Oh, that's pretty. That blended out well with the brush. i be honest, most things I will say, blend, especially creams, blend out better with a sponge. Um... But this one is like holding its own. It's makeup forever though. Oh, that cons that's coverage with the color corrector and the, oh, oh yes. I don't know why I'm acting shocked like this new, like makeup forever, like y'all, what, what you, what, what y'all thought it was? <laughs> like, I don't know what I thought. I don't know. Kind of wiped off my wing. I'm gonna have to go in and redo that but oh. okay okay so we're almost there let's set the face uh, I'm gonna use my La Mercier under the eyes my La Mercier translucent this is the ultra blur uh, I think I have a puff I need a puff I need a puff Oh wow. Oh yeah. This is looking good. Again, don't know don't know what I was expecting. It's makeup forever. Like they have um and they have this is just new in terms of it's not this style of palette is not new. It is um the this style they have foundations i think they have another face cream palette with like blushes and foundations in this format in this 12 fan format but this face harmony is new this face harmony palette but this format of palettes with 12 cream products in it not new um no not new okay so we set that under eye area and oh flawless honey that's yeah I have no problems. I don't feel like I need any more concealer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I. this is a flawless look if I use any other guaranteed flawless products. All right. So I'm gonna set the face with a little bit because I'm oily and we're using cream products. I'm gonna use my Rimmel Stay Matte um, and go over this face lightly. But honestly, you guys, we we look good. We look wonderful. Oh, baby. Okay. Baby, let's go into the blush. Now, the blushes we have two here. I don't I think I'm gonna go into this one. That one there. Alright, and we're gonna put this on. I used way too big a brush, but I'm committed now. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. Uh, that's gorgeous. I would let me do a little more. I would like a little more. I think it might be be picking up a little bit of my foundation underneath so let me be careful oh, honey 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 oh I need to clean this palette that's gonna bother me oh because these products are cream they do blend like seamlessly together I just feel like 
Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I have no, I just, I have no complaints. All right, let's go in. I'm using my finger with the highlighter. Pretty gold, champagne gold. Try to blend with my hand here. Yeah, now this is pretty and it's giving a very natural highlight, but highlight is something that I definitely need more. So I will top this with one of my favorite gold highlights. I'll find something. But you know what? That's okay. It's really pretty. And you can leave it here, but I can't leave it here. So I'm gonna do a little bit. I am I don't I don't know why I'm shocked I don't know why let me see what I got my shot my stash to highlight with I don't know why I'm like tripping like it's it's makeup forever what was I expecting I, I don't I don't want to say the problem here I oh I don't have a golden highlight near me do I I don't want to get up. I, I really don't. <laughs> so I'm not. Let's figure it out. I'll just use... This is my Makeup Revolution like shimmer strip. Try to go towards the top. Let me say a little more. There we go. That's so pretty. Okay. Wow. Uh, I, I am really happy with this. Let me... Um, I do see a little sheen where the cream blush was. I don't know how I feel about that. But everywhere else, we're looking good. Let me... Let's just finish the look. I'm going to spray some Fix Plus Stay Over. Let's look. I'll try to update you on the staying power as much as I can. I don't know if I'll have this on for a lot of hours, but I'll try my best. Um, wow, I'm going to smudge a little bit more of my eyeshadow. This eye look was brought to you by uh, the Tarte Man Eater. They they did they did something with this baby. Love it, love it. Happy, extremely happy extremely happy so I'm gonna go ahead and put a smudge let's finish off the situation since you're here might as well continue oh I'm loving it I'm, I'm really loving the dimension my face has I, I, I'm loving it. Let's do a little inner corner. Since you're here, you know. Since you're here. <laughs> I have no idea what lip I want to do, but. Let me get out, let me figure out my lip. Finish my, finish my everything else, my outfit. I gotta add some mascara, lower mascara. I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, so I am really happy with the look, how we came out. The face has dimension, the face has coverage, the face has glam, it, ha it has no flaws, okay? Uh, making sure it was a lipstick on I am really, really happy with how this turned out. I can't give a full review in terms of staying power, longevity, and things like that, as it's my first time using it. But the look at on someone with oily skin, 
I feel comfortable in this. I feel comfortable going out with it. I'm not really worried. Um, I'm not really worried about anything in terms of it lasting. I think we're going to be good. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I will say, I just think, from the top, if, if, if companies are doing these full face situations where you're talking, you have color cosmetics like blush and highlight, and that's one category of them, like with the blush, highlight, the powder products like blush, highlight, contour, and then your shadows. Even those that don't have like foundations or concealers in them, those I feel like you need to put out at least five. You need to put out at least five or six that's covering fair, light, medium, tan, rich, deep, or deep, rich. I think you need to be covering that. And if you're doing something like this, where you're including like correctors and concealers and foundations, like skin tone shades. Yes, you have three foundations in here, but they're very close. They're very close in shade. They're not that much different. I just got lucky to fit in that range that's in here. And I think that you need at least like five. Now, granted, you can mix a little deeper. You, this can be a foundation shade. You, you, but the fact that you labeled them specifically as to what they are, because if this is my foundation shade, I, what I'm contouring with. So I definitely feel like um, you need to put out. You can't just put out light and dark. You can't do that. Michael Forever's uh, foundation range, you know, they cover, they have a range, it's there. Um, so I feel like with something like this, especially charging $85 for it, I get it, but you, I think it's wonderful. I think it's beautiful. I also think I got lucky that it worked for me, but not very many skin tones on either end of the spectrum, it's going to be as flexible for. So I think, I think, um, yeah, I think like five or six is the minimum of like full face palette situation I love them I think they're convenient I would love to create my own one day but yeah that's my critique that's not so much the product though the product is great um these cream formulas I definitely think they are they chose good formulas the concealers have higher coverage than I would think the foundations do even though the foundation's great coverage um the blushes were sheer the blush and highlight was sheer like everything was not the same formula I could tell that and so I really enjoy it I really enjoyed using this. It was easier and than I it was easier than I was expecting because like, you know, putting on all these creams on your face, blending them out, that used to be a hassle. Y'all know that remember the trend. It used to be a mess. And I really think they streamlined the process and made it easy and made for the everyday makeup wear. I can see this being someone's everyday situation and then add your primer, add your powder, do your eyes and your lips. And you cut out all those face steps that you would use you know separate products for so I really like that but let me know your thoughts let me know if you're picking it up um let me know what we feel about anything I say if you have any questions comments concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video feel free to leave it down below I love you all so so much and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye hey guys so it's late a quick check in before I take this makeup off this has been on for about um, seven hours and we are still flawless, honey. I think, I just ran into the steps, <laughs> so i I think this is um, definitely good for its intended, intended audience, whoever that may be. I guess that is you and me, oily skin friendly, okay? Um, I have not touched up, blotted anything. Um, so yeah, it's time to take my face off, but just wanted to do a quick check-in with you all to show you. Everything is still there. You can see the contour, the blush, the highlight. You can see um, so yeah, take take that information as you will. Um, but good job, Makeup Forever, but you need to release more. So, 